Ladies and gentlemen, first leg is Boris to throw first. Game on. But, uh, well, I mentioned it earlier, Hendo absolutely buzzing last night, walking on air when he was more than happy to talk me through that World Cup winning campaign with uh, Peter Wright recently. Brilliant achievement for Henderson. And, uh, you know, Six. something he says, obviously, that can't ever be taken away from him on his CV for life. Looking well, I have to say, also, uh, Henderson, in a very fine fettle. 60. Yeah, not won a game on a Euro Tour stage for a couple of years, although that is better than Boris Kritschmo, who's not won a game on a Euro Tour stage at all. 140. Only had a couple of attempts, it has to be said, as Boris lost out to Adam Gavlas in the Hungarian darts a few weeks ago. Lost out that last leg decide as well. Really good match. I think Boris holds an unusual record. I think he holds the record for the longest wait for a, a <laughs> second European Tour appearance. Almost One a decade. Almost a decade. a decade. Played in the Austrian Open in 2012 and then, as you say, Budapest recently. Nine years and a bit after making his European Tour. 140. Record. I can't think of Aren't any other players that have had to wait so long. Hasn't had to wait too long to get down to this position either. 155 the target. 99. Former soft tip world champion is Boris as well. Ooh, now then, treble 19 to leave himself on tops. Mm. 127. Boris Uruguay 56. Still some pressure. Thirty-eight. Johnny Uruguay 90. Should look at the twenties. That'd be the standard route, but. He has got options. Sixty. Or should require eighteen. Yeah, he only had one option in the end. That was a bullseye, but he missed it by uh, a little bit. And uh, well, Kirchmar is now having to tidy up here. Double four, only one dart in hand, 14. and the pressure begins to tell once again. Johnny require thirty. Fifteen. Well, both players have missed darts. So double four. for the opening leg. And uh, a reprieve here for Kirchmar. Yeah, finally, Boris Kirchmar. Leg the is opener with double first. two. Game on. Well, not a lightning quick start from either man. It has to be said. Six. Kirchmar in that position where he's got two grand on his. European Championship order of merit and as we said two grand might squeeze you into the European Championship particularly seeing as one oh, grand hungry. of his money is coming from this event mm -hmm. so he would be above say somebody who'd won their first round and gone out in round two in Budapest and isn't here but you are 100. playing things very very dangerously if you're relying on that amount of money to get you in yeah, and just to echo what we were talking about during the Ted Everts match as well, he's, he's one of those players who's coming towards the end of his tour card life. He won his tour card at the start of 2020 uh, via the European Q School Order of Merit. He's 70 in the Order hungry. of Merit right now, so he's got a bit to do. But this, as you say, could open things up for him. Win here, get to the European Six. Championship. Who knows what could happen there? Who knows what could happen this weekend? If Boris has a, a good weekend, all of his concerns could just evaporate. And, you know, he can look forward to the World Championship. A big chunk of money here. European Championship, happy days. Hey, somebody wins this is weekend. And you're you're probably get a Grand Slam one. spot. Yeah, the winner of this to face James Wade, the uh, number eight seed, by the way. Henderson looking at, uh, well, he's got the 61 just about. That's 61. A single one was perilously oh, close to going astray. Kirchmar, similar target. Careless again with the second up. 41. Don't you require 40? Doesn't look particularly comfortable. Yeah, we shot the second leg. John Henry. Sure, what it is. The leg is Boris to throw first. Yeah, he looks Game. like when he, he, he's. Uh, it's not usual, but he seems to be pursing his lips a lot when he's throwing as well, which is 
He, he, yeah, you're right, he does look a bit troubled. Yeah, he's by his whether he's carrying a, an injury, I don't know, with his arm. Yeah, he didn't. I mean, he can come across pretty no nonsense anyway, but even just when he walked on stage, it was just a 140. cursory bump of the fist. He's not really engaged there, but he doesn't. I'm not sure if he's well. I might be wrong. He might be fit as a fiddle, but. 140. Kirschmar's certainly capable of going deep in a, one of these European Tour events. He's made the quarterfinals of a couple of Pro Tour events this year. He lost to Ryan Searle in both those quarterfinals. So I think they'll be hoping he doesn't come across uh, him this weekend. But, you know, on his day, he's beaten some good players. He's beaten James Wade this year. I mentioned Wade lies in wait for the winner of this one. He's beaten Gerwin Price this year. 140. 6-4 well. uh, in a last 16 match at uh, Players' Championship 18, en route to that quarterfinal. But he hasn't done a great deal since then. Forty-five. Or actually, one hundred and thirty-six. One hundred. That will leave him on that double eighteen that he did get a bit stuck on in the opening leg, broke it down to the nines and then the fours and in the end won it on double two, but or you go on a until John Henderson had worried him. Yeah, yeah, it's more like it. That is more like it, yeah, absolutely. Well, ladies, John threw first, well, game I on. I think what was bothering at the start of the match might just have alleviated somewhat. Talks about those wins that he's had this year. I thought one of the one of his best performances oh, was at the UK Open when he played Michael Smith. It was an absolute cracker. He averaged 108 against Bully Boy, but lost 6-5. Oh, I think he's in a brilliant addition, has been over the last couple yeah, of years to the PDC ranks, and it would be a big loss were he not to keep hold of his tour guard. I would expect him to do enough between... Mm. 140! Yeah, ...at the end of the year. And if we were to look at the race for the World Championship, which will be pivotal for so many players... 108! Boris is actually in the very last qualifying spot for the World Championship. So, look, he's there 95. at the moment, but it is a very, very loose grip he has. And I touched upon this with Nicholson earlier as well about exactly you know what players are aware of. I, I, I might put Kirschmar in the category of players who might not be fully aware of what's at stake. I do remember hearing a story about him when, when he won his tour card. Oh, via the order of marriage, he wasn't wow, totally wow. sure 40. what it meant. He had to sort of ask for sort of clarification about what it all means. And they said, well, you know, now you can play on the regular pro tour events. You can, you know, join these tournaments. You'll have two years to work with this if you're in the top 64. You know, you're moving away from the challenge tour to step up. And he, he, he didn't seem to really 40. appreciate what was at stake that weekend when he or that week in. Uh, yeah, shot the full leg, Sean Henderson. The leg is Boris to throw first. He, Game on. I've heard from one or two people close to him that he wasn't. I mean, I'm sure, I think he's addressed it now, but he wasn't a massive practicer either. He was staggering what other players were doing, and he was told at least if you know if you want to stay on this tour, if you want to keep at it, then you're going to have to put in a lot more than an hour a day that he was doing. He seemed to be a little bit taken by surprise at what what, what it actually meant for him. Well, I think he's been. Very successful and, and pretty wealthy from his time playing soft tip darts. So just to switch to steel tip and give it a go is a big commitment. One hundred. But I don't think we've seen the best of Boris Kritschmar in the PDC. I think there's a lot more to come. First things first, though. Really got to stay on the circuit. Eighty-one. Yeah, didn't like that one bit, did he? Sixty. Well, should come down for the nineteens, really. Well, ninety-seven. Or one hundred and forty-two. Yeah. Problem leaves a bogey number. Sixty-five or eight. Ninety-one. 
102. Forty five. Boris you require forty. Well, for a six visit leg. Can he work his way down? No score. No. Not at all. Can he require one hundred and twenty one? <coughs> well, I mean this could be a very unlikely steal for John Henderson. He's not played well in this leg and he's not gonna take it I either on this occasion. Twenty-six. Told me last night he's Orange not rocking his foot. Foot. I'm not so sure. I think there's been plenty of that in evidence today as well. Ash on the fifth leg. As Coach Boris Mark eventually Mark. takes out double twenty. Six legs. John to throw first. Game on. Well, five legs in. Five holds of throw. Somehow, <laughs> there have been chances. Yeah, by hook or by crook. A couple of good legs. A couple of average legs. Yeah, easy one. One hundred and eighty. He's good to watch at times. It's Boris as well. I've got to say. Great response though from Henderson. Let's pick Hendo's first. Five perfect darts here for Kirchmar. Switch to the nineteen to get that one out of the way. Second time today we see five perfect darts. Two far from perfect darts there for John Henderson. 24. This has come against the Highlanders throw. This is exactly what Critchmar wanted to just try and open up a little bit of daylight between these two. Break this deadlock of holds a throw. 60. For a player who's come from soft tip, he doesn't use the bullseye as much as you'd expect Critchmar. It's a much bigger bullseye, isn't it, in, uh, it is. in soft tip? But they do just in terms but just of that accounting. habit, yeah. You know, an extra five 85. points there, and all of a sudden. Or 122. Again, they'll have a bullseye anyway. So if he leaves a bull, probably just hit it. Oh, can't find the trouble 18 anyway. Oh, 86. Don't you require 131. 51 tops, tops will be a lot of players' routes. Might be for Big Head, though, who doesn't like that double top. Can't get the 51, though. 91. Boris require 26. 86. Yeah, sixth leg. Boris Kirchmar. Cry there from uh, Kirchmar as well. Boris first real first. Game sign on. of. Uh, well, emotion, I suppose, from Kirchmar in this match so far. That's significant. He knows it. Got the break after five holes of throw, and now he's two away all of a sudden. Just how the matches can turn One so quickly 40. in this first to six format. Whole complexion of the match has changed there. 140. Oh, 96. Oh, is the Croatian closing in on his first win on the European Tour and a win that would put him in a very oh, strong position to reach the European Championship? 19s. Well, he stayed up the 20s actually because, uh, well, that's right. Just the over the way he likes to do it. 140. Yeah, you would like to think he'd have switched had he only hit the single 21st, aren't you? Quite guarantee it. Can you? Now these soft hit players love a bullseye. They love a bullseye. One hundred and thirty-five. Or should one hundred and twenty-five? Bread and butter. Ah, gobble it up. Sixty for tops then. There it is. Eighty-five. John, you're one hundred and thirty-five. Ten points more, but a lot trickier for Big Hando. Would have had to end with a bullseye. Could go back there because it does look a decent enough guide, to be fair. 70. Or if you require 40. Yeah, shot the seventh leg. Boris Kirk. Uh, well, his finishing uh, hasn't been brilliant to today, first. but it's enough Game at on. the moment. Five from. 15 attempts so far. 
Bearing in mind there was all that messing around in, one in the particular opening leg. leg. Oh, you know, 19 data to start for Boris Kritschmar. And he missed four darts at double in that. 140. But he's dragged his average up from there to almost 96 now. And it's a first nine average of 116. Now. Yeah, he's putting Henderson under pressure from the word go. The scoring is there right from the off. And OK, there's not much in terms of, well, four points in the averages. But, yeah, the first nine averages is proving, I think, over the course of this match so far, proving Henderson's undoing. And here's another big score oh, coming in as well. Well, there you see, Boris has had almost twice the number of darts at double that, that Big John's had. He's outscored him. He's created more opportunities. Yes, he's taken oh, a bit of time to actually hit them. But, by and large, he's getting down to a double first and that can often be the oh, most significant difference between any two players in any given situation. Yeah, I think he's got better as this game has gone on. There's big Boris and he's looking very, very well placed. I believe that the Croatian is going to win this one. Book his place in tomorrow's action, get to the European Championship, keep hold of his tour card and we're going to be seeing a lot more of Boris Kritschmar we're going to see a lot more even better stuff from him. Bullseye, they love it, the soft hit players. They <laughs> love it, the soft hit players. 6 2, 12 data to wrap things up. We won't be seeing Hendo at the European Championship.